I love that Revit has cable tree. I don't want to really get into why I love it. Let's just jump in and look at why I love it. In my project browser under power, go to floor plans. I want to rename level one call out one. That's just kind of bothering me. So click it. Let's just call it electrical room, all caps. And hit enter. Let's open up our electrical room. Let's set our visual style to hidden line. One thing I'd like to do is look and see how high these conduits are so we can avoid them with our cable tray. I'll just select this one here. And I see that it's at 10 feet, which would be 30, 48 millimeters. Hit escape a couple times, okay. We'll run our cable tray at 11 feet, which would be 33, 53 millimeters. Let's go to our systems tab. On the electrical panel, let's click cable tray. Let's come over to our type selector. Click the drop down. Let's grab ladder cable tray. The width is 12 by four or 305 by 102. Let's set our middle elevation to 11 feet, which would be 33, 53 millimeters. I'm gonna pick a point like right about here. I'm gonna start running it. Now what happens if I get to a certain point like right here, I can pick a spot. Now I can change my middle elevation, maybe to 12 feet, which would be 3658 and keep going. But notice right when I get past here, it'll let me do it. And it's gonna add a little addition to it. I can come this way. And I can go at maybe a 45 degree angle. It's awesome because Revit will just add all of our fittings for us. Pick a spot here, hit escape a couple times. Perfect. Now, if I select this cable tray, right click, create similar. Now, as long as you pick a spot somewhere on it, I like to pick a spot in the middle of it just to make sure that it's gonna make a connection. Pick this spot here, down to there, and it's gonna actually add my fitting. What's cool is you don't have to be at an actual 45 degree angle. Revit's gonna just calculate that. Right now if I come straight down, this time maybe I'll set my middle elevation to one foot, 305 millimeters. Come straight down, pick a spot right there, hit escape a couple times, go to a 3D view, zoom in on our cable tray, and it is jagged and all over the place. But I'll tell you what, it's a real awesome feature and it's just as easy as drawing a simple line. 